On the Mesh tab, we have some options for setting the seed. A seed approximately defines the dimension of the edge mesh of a global structure with global seed and edge seed. Global edge seed defines the seed of all the edges of a geometry. Let's go over the different types of seed. When choosing uniform by size, users can set the size. The size indicates the number of nodes per edge, in this case 10. Uniform by divisions means the user can set the divisions per edge. In this case, we've set four divisions per edge. Biased by size means the user can set the bias and the number of nodes per edge. Here we've set a bias of 0.5 and 10 nodes per edge. Here we've set it at 0.1 bias. You can also select to reverse the direction of the bias. Notice how the bias has switched to the other side. Biased by divisions allows the user to set the divisions and the bias. Here we've set a 0.1 bias and 10 divisions per edge. Dual biased by size allows the user to set the size, the start, end, and center bias, and gives the option to reverse the direction. Here you can see that we've set the size at 15 per edge with a bias end and a bias start. Here we've changed the bias end and the bias start to show what happens. Dual biased by divisions does the same thing, but by divisions rather than by size. Here we set 15 per edge with a bias start and a bias end. Let's look at what happens when we change the bias end. Now let's look at mesh controls. We can choose a structured tetra mesh for the face. To apply the controls, select the geometry while the window is open and click Assign and Done. Then the mesh can be built. Moving on, let's practice meshing a face. First, we'll click Global Edge Seed. We want to select the type Biased by Size. Let's set the size at 0.5 and the bias at 1.5. We can see on the figure what it would look like. Then we'll set the mesh controls. Let's create an unstructured linear triatetra mesh and build it. Viewing it from the top, we can see the results of the mesh. Let's copy the model and try a different mesh. For the global edge seed, we'll use bias by size and 0.5 and 1.5 and assign it to the copy only. Clicking Mesh Controls, let's see what happens if we try to apply a structured trilinear mesh to the face. After clicking Build Mesh, we can see it's not possible to obtain a structured mesh, so STKO automatically corrected the input to unstructured. Let's look at an example of meshing a structured face. We'll set the global edge seed to uniform by size and set the size to 0.5. Now we'll change the mesh control settings. We'll set faces structured quadra hexa and apply it to the face. Then we'll click build mesh. You can see the structured mesh of the face. Let's copy that face. For the copy, let's set the global edge seed to uniform by size and the size to 0.5. Then we'll apply the mesh control settings of faces structured triatetra to the copied face only. Clicking build mesh, we can see the differences between the triat and quadra structured mesh. Let's make a third copy now.
For the global edge seed, let's apply a uniform bias size with a size of 0 0.5. This time, we will apply an unstructured trium mesh to the face. After clicking Build Mesh, we can compare the results of the different mesh control settings to the same face. Let's try meshing a solid. We'll set the global edge seed to uniform by size with a size of 10. The edge seed command allows us to select one or more edges to seed with a different type. Here we can select bias by size, choose the edges we want to apply it to, set the size to 10 and the bias to 0 0.1 and click assign. We can see what it would look like, then click done. Then we can build the mesh, which will show a loading status, then the solid is meshed. Moving around the solid, we can see how the edges have been meshed differently. Let's examine how to use the partition command. Click partition to open the editor. Let's set the partitions at 5 and click partition. The window will show the list of partitions as a summary of their nodes and elements and give a color map. Rotating the solid, we can see the different partitions and distinguish them by color. Clicking Done applies the partition. If you want to consult the partitions, click Partition to open the window. Let's change the number to 10. We can see how the color map has changed to reflect the new number of partitions.